The Director General of the World Health Organization broke down while calling for a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip amid the Israel-Hamas war, which is pushing four months. Describing the conditions in the besieged Palestinian enclave as hellish, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said a true solution must be found to the ongoing conflict, stressing that war is not an answer as it brings more war, more hatred and more agony. I think all of you have said the two-state solution and so on, and hope this war will end and move into a true solution, he said, before breaking down. The WHO chief said he was struggling to speak as he looked down and took a long pause before adding that it was because of the situation in Gaza was beyond words. 70% of the dead in Gaza are children and women. That alone is enough for a ceasefire, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus added. Drawing from his own experience of growing up amid war, the WHO chief said, I'm a true believer because of my own experience that war doesn't bring solution, except more war, more hatred, more agony, more destruction. So let's choose peace and resolve this issue politically. He further said that looking for a solution is always possible because what's required is only the will. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus lived through war as a child and whose own children hid in a bunker during bombardments in Ethiopia's 1998-2000 border war with Eritrea. More than 25,000 people have been killed in the Gaza Strip in the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. Israel launched a full-blown counteraction against Hamas in the Gaza Strip where the group is in power following the group's unprecedented and surprising attack on the country on October 7. As many as 1,200 people were killed in the attack and more than 200 hostages were taken back to the Gaza Strip by Hamas. Meanwhile, Israel's ambassador, Merav Elon Sheher, said the WHO chief's statement represented a complete leadership failure, news agency Reuters reported. The statement by the Director General was the embodiment of everything that is wrong with WHO since October 7 8. No mention of the hostages, the rapes, the murder of Israelis, nor the militarization of hospitals and Hamas' despicable use of human shields, Reuters reported, quoting Merav Elon Sheher.